Hello, my name is Geoffrey from bluefx.net. Thank you for buying my template. You have purchased the news op opening number two. So, uh, as you can see, this has a couple of parts, or exactly four parts. This is the news intro, then comes the studio with the two studios, the second part. Then comes the lower third, and finally the countdown. You can see four folders, each of them are one of the four parts. So let's start with Breaking News Studio. This is the studio set. Okay, now you can open it in uh, by right clicking here, open with CS3. Now here we have the project. You can see this is the main composition. You have a folder called U Change, and you have the other resolutions folder for uh, using NTSC DV, PAL, and uh, HD 720. And you also have this color changer. Now let's begin. Let's make some space here. Let's see how you can uh, change the project. So, first go to the logo here, composition. Now here you have the logo. You can uh, close this down and put in your logo here. Scale it to the right proportions. Okay, now let's see the next the next composition maps of major cities double click on it in case you just want to need want to change the cities go here and uh, change them okay let's go to the third composition small long text crawl now this text is the text that is um, is being displayed here as you can see this one so uh, you can scale this up so you can see it I mean zoom in and uh, double click on it and just type in the new text that you want to put here okay the other, the other part is the studio plate double click on it so you can change the text here this is the global recession text the big title and here are the other two titles studio 1 and studio 2 double click on them and just type in the new name let's say set 2 like this okay let's undo that okay next is the two studio sets the video holders so but double click on them video studio one I'll delete this uh, this image and uh, drag in your video here with uh, your reporters or uh, whatever news you will display and also do the same thing in the second part here okay now to the fun part you have this color changer composition you will have it in each um, part of this this template so double click on the color changer and um, you have this null layer now hit F3 or uh, just click on the effects control panel and you will see this uh, fill effect now hit this close this down okay and go back to the main composition 
good now if this is this lock here is closed then it won't disappear when you click on another layer you have to change the color here in the first fill the second fill is just for um, let's say back upping the color so uh, let me show you how this works I click on this box and I pick a color let's say this color and I hit OK as you can see everything changed now if I want to go back to the that specific red color I just do this click on the drop tool and uh, take this color okay now it's very important then when you that when you choose a color let's say this blue one it will give you a, a code this is the color code now copy this right click copy okay now hit ok let's say we have this blue thing and uh, I recommend that you make a text a text file like this you will see why I why I do this now we have the first one ready and we can render go to the main composition and uh, go to composition make movie I like to use this setting let me show you quick time I use quick time with photo JPEG um, codec so uh, select photo JPEG set it to best click OK if you have audio you can use all uh, you can uh, press this audio box here okay and you, you hit render and it will be rendered good now let's move on let's open the other files let's see the lower third right click open with uh, CS3 you can open it with uh, CS4 or CS5 so uh, this template is compatible good now we have this lower third here same thing the main composition and here is the U change folder open it up and you have the long text crawl this is a long text this small one you can see it now you have this lower third edit let's make some space here and here you have the titles this is the big title the global recession uh, this is the, um, the time in case you want to have a the time here the smaller um, title the breaking news part okay and uh, the third composition is news logo so um, now you can change the text here if you don't want to use news but uh, for um, changing the logo you have to go into logo here this logo here composition if you use CS3 hold down alt and double click if you use CS4 or 5 just double click and it will open the composition will open so uh, here we are in this composition you see my logo here you delete this and put your logo in okay go back to the main composition now let's say we have changed the color open up the color changer same thing 
click on the effects, lock it down, and go back to the main composition. Now, click here and uh, just paste in this um, this color code. Copy and paste it like this. Now you will have exactly the same color code. Okay, you can use this lower third in uh, in many ways. So first, um, you can put here your video, like drag in a video and put it in this composition. I'll just drag in a video from uh, from my hard drive. Good. Put it in here. And you can see that uh, the lower third will appear. You can also do another thing. In case you use a video editing application other than After Effects for uh, in your new station, you can uh, render this with uh, Alpha, with an Alpha channel, and then you can import it into Sony Vegas or Premiere or whatever uh, editing application you use. So when you have finished editing, just go to make composition, make movie, and um, here you can make a couple of settings. If you want to use it as it is, uh, without um, without the alpha channel, without transparency, then uh, set it to QuickTime and Photo JPEG. Uh, Codec, but if you want to you want to use it in a, an editing application as a lower third, do this: set it to QuickTime and uh, change it to PNG. Millions of colors plus. This plus means the alpha channel, the transparency. I hit OK. Good. You can check audio if you have audio and hit OK. Now you can render. Good. OK, let's move on. The news countdown. Same thing. Right click. Open with CS3. Now you have the main composition here. The U change folder. Uh, you also have here the, the date. In the main composition you change the date. So uh, this is the the date text. You double click on it and change the the day. Okay, now in the you change folder you have three compositions. Let's open up the first one. Logo here. Good. Now this is my logo. Obviously you will change it with your logo. Now you have the major cities. Again, if you want to, you can you can change the names. And you have the news logo here. You can change this news text here in case you want to. Okay, let's go back to the main composition. Here we have again the color changer. Double click on it. Click on the null. Effects down the effects go back to the main composition again and uh, let's select effects and let's change the color again so I already I paste in the, the color code from the previous project hit OK and uh, render composition make movie Quick time photo JPEG. Okay. Let's see the last part. Actually, this will be the news opening. Right click, open with CS3. Now, here we have the opening.
this will be the main composition in the main composition you can change the subtitles this one is the www.newsite.com you will change it with your site obviously okay now let's move on you have the you change folder open it up and uh, here you have the news logo text now you can change the text here or you can paste in your logo whatever you prefer let's go back to the main composition again click on the color changer effects lock it down go back again to the main composition effects again and let's change this color so um, I have saved the color code you, you remember the blue color And I will paste it in here. Get it. As you can see, the colors updated, and you are ready to go. Again, composition, make movie, quick time, and you know the rest. So, uh, I hope you will use this template and you will like it. And in case you have any other questions, please contact me at uh, contact at bluefx.net. Thank you and uh, bye.